there has evolved a, a political duopoly in the United States in which the two political parties agree to agree on certain things and agree to disagree on others. And in particular, they agree on things related to finance and money, and they disagree on social policy. And this has uh, potentially quite powerful consequences relative to um, their ability to retain legitimacy in the United States because the disagreements on social policy are very real and very important. And what you see is both political parties and their candidates and people soliciting uh, money, contributions, from, uh, from the base of either of the parties using those social policy issues in order to retain uh, allegiance from the base, even in the face of their, the two parties shared agreement to leave the economic and financial issues alone. Now, that duopoly, a sustainable duopoly depends on the absence both of internal challenges from within the party and also the absence of competitive entry. And, uh, and I've been speaking about this with, with people who specialize in the study of, of political systems and, uh, and democratic systems. Larry Diamond, for example, at Stanford, who's probably America's leading expert on democracy. Um, and Larry in particular thinks that uh, the lack of a parliamentary system and the lack of ranked order voting are very important necessary conditions to the sustainability of this political duopoly. So why in the face of this is there not a more organized response, either independent of political parties or an attempt to create a third political party? And uh, the answer is that if you look at the recent history of third parties in the United States, particularly those on the left, the, the last uh, reasonably clean example would be Ralph Nader. Uh, what you see is that because of the lack of a parliamentary system and because of the lack of ranked order voting, the effect of a small fraction of the population going to uh, a third party is to defeat the, uh, the neighboring party in political terms. And so that also serves as a reinforcement to uh, the political duopoly. And uh, my sense in talking with senior, I, I don't have much contact, I have some uh, with senior people in the Republican Party. I have a fair amount of uh, contact with senior people in, in the Democratic Party. And my quite strong sense is that this is something that is now explicitly understood. Um, and I think that although it's, it's removed at several levels from the immediate forces that affected the financial crisis and, and the deregulatory impulses and the lack of law enforcement that allowed the behavior that led to the crisis, I think that ultimately it's some kind of explanation like that that you have to rely on. So with that, I will conclude. Uh, thank you. <laughs>